uh, another <laughs> movie I'm not even going to try to say the title of, in fear of pronouncing it terribly wrong, even though it doesn't seem that complicated, but that is beyond the point. Uh, and I'm not even sure how many people have seen this movie yet or, or at all, but I'll, I'll talk about that more in a moment. Uh, but IMDb plot time to start. Uh, when a city is terrorized by a sadistic serial killer, a seasoned detective and newly recruited paramedic discover the key to stopping the bloodshed that lies in unlocking the truth of their own haunted past. Okay, I'm not sure I read that correctly, but that's okay. Um, still caught up in the title. Um, anyway, this one, you know, is interesting to me because I, I'm pretty sure I, I, want, I had put out a press release that I was sent um, via Promote Horror and uh, then kind of just kind of just went on its way and um, I know it's snuck into some theaters. I don't know how big of a release it got, but um, and then kind of went on its way. And, you know, I, I kind of saw it out there and I'm like, you know, it just kind of came and went and I didn't really see too much conversation. And and I'm not really sure how many people have seen it or, or know about this movie. And uh, just looking at IMDb here, it doesn't seem like a lot of people saw this movie. So, um, you know, I, I don't even know how many people are going to see this review because they're not going to know what movie this is or whatever. Um, but regardless, I'm here and I'm doing the review. So... Uh, you know, I will tell you there's certainly some stuff that I liked about it, and that's why I'm talking about it. So uh, maybe encourage you guys to catch it. <laughs> um, it. It is, you know, it is a fairly new movie, so try to keep it spoiler-free as possible here. Um, but <clears throat> it is comes off, uh, you know, it was really a well-done movie, and, and I'm not sure what the budget was. It seemed like they spent some money on it. I don't know. Um, some had some familiar faces on it. The acting was really good. Um, it, it seemed like it had all the pieces of being a movie that should have done better or at least marketed better, maybe, or seen by more people. Uh, but for whatever reason, it wasn't. Um, you know, it, was, it seemed like a good quality movie to me, um, especially in the way it was made. And again, I, you know, there's some familiar faces in it. So, um I don't know. I don't know why it went kind of under the radar or what's going on there. Um, but anyway, yeah, you, you start off with, uh, uh, a, a, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm not getting too much in the spoiler territory. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a paramedic and, um, you know, she gets kind of caught up. There's, you know, in, in, um, rescuing people who have been, uh, kind of caught up in, the, in this this serial killer that's going through this building, mm -hmm. and um, at first you're not really sure you know what this person is killing uh, for, and what the reason is, and uh, but they're doing a pretty good job of it, and uh, you know she has some close encounters with him, and uh, I, I think you know some of the scenes with her and the killer are pretty good. Um, and that's another thing they do in the movies. You know, there's some action sequences that are actually pretty good. Um, some fights with the serial killer. And, and I thought uh, there's a lot of sequences that are done really well in this movie. So again, yeah, I'm not sure what, what everybody missed here. Um, but uh, yeah, you're going to have... And the, the, I like the serial killer in this movie. He's kind of dressed in white. Almost reminded me a little bit of uh, a wonderful knife that just came out now uh, in a similar way. This guy kind of looks more like a statue. Uh, the uh, serial killer and, and, and wonderful was kind of like more, I don't know, kind of reminded me snow like and kind of that atmosphere because it was almost Christmas themed and, and so forth. Uh, where this was, he seemed like more like a statue or like he wanted to be a statue. Uh, where if he stood still, you wouldn't know whether he was real or not. Um, but yeah, this this killer is gonna come at you, and and when he does, uh, it is gonna be pretty rough, and he's not messing around. Um, I thought you know, the, I guess the one thing I didn't like about him is is when I guess it's revealed and you kind of find out the grand scheme of things and who this killer is. Uh, to me, it kind of took away from things because you know, as this the killer kind of unfolds, you're wondering, you know, you don't really know much going on here in this movie. 
So, you know, is it a real person? Is it, you know, you know, something more supernatural that's come back to kill? Uh, is the person being said, you know, there's, there's lots of avenues there, you know, as you know, early on in the movie and, uh, you know, eventually I think you kind of get to the point where, yeah, it's probably just a person, but, uh, even then when you find out it is and then see everything that that person's done throughout the whole movie, you're kind of like, man, did that person, could they have done all those things? Maybe, you know, maybe not. Um, obviously like it kind of hints at in, in the, in the, in the summary there, um, there's other, there's a bigger picture happening here. And I, I thought they did a good job of also unfolding that. They didn't really give you a lot early on. Um, they kind of sprinkle in the pieces and, uh, What's kind of interesting is that that I think that you know some of the people that you would thought should have been the, the the good people in this movie end up being the bad people, and it's kind of like one of those movies where you almost feel like okay, the killer had a reason, and did certain people deserve to die? Maybe some did, some didn't. Um, so it's that kind of thing, and 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 I, I kind of think it's it's always a little bit more interesting when you have. Uh, where it's a little more cut and dry, uh, not as cut and dry, you know, like Freddy's obviously the bad guy and, and he should die and Jason too and, and so forth. And as horror fans, you don't want him to die, but yeah, you, you know, that's what's going to happen. And then in other cases, in other movies where you have a killer where, you know, at first you're like, oh, well, they should die. But then you kind of find out the circumstances of what's going on here and you're like, oh, okay, so maybe I don't want them to die so much or maybe they shouldn't die so much. Um, so... There's this, this bigger reason and reasoning that, that's going on here. Um, do you, you know, whether you buy that, whether you like that or not, I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I thought they did a reasonable job of kind of unfolding that. Um, like I said, you know, the action scenes in this movie are pretty good with the fights with the killer. Um, the killer definitely tries to be pretty brutal and he is. Um, and, and, you know, the acting saw it. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this because, again, I, I don't know how many people have seen it and not seen it. Um, I'm going to encourage you guys, if you have not seen this movie and you kind of come across it and you probably have little idea of what this is, to maybe give this a try. Um, it is a slasher. Obviously, it says a, a serial killer, so it is slasher-like. Um, to me, it also had, you know, it, it, uh, you know no, it's just called plain horror here, but... I don't know, in, in a way, I, I thought it was maybe horror action in a way. Um, I, for some reason, I, I don't know. Um, but, you know, because I, I just thought, you know, they did some, you know, good scenes there uh, with the killer. Um, know, who is this girl? That, that I feel like I've seen her before. I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, it's closed. Uh, anyway, um... You know, I, I think, I, I at least thought there was good, enough good going on in this movie. Um, and I enjoyed it enough. Um, so, you know, again, you know, it's one of the surprises when you see that nobody's seen it. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Um, so hopefully if you guys do come across it, see it, maybe you'll see that I've reviewed it. Um, whether you actually watch this review or not, I have no idea. Fast forward to the end, see what I gave it. Or whatever, uh, but I I'm gonna give it three three point five pools of blood. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I like. I thought you know it did a lot of good things. Um, I had zero expectations for it. I had no idea what I was putting on. Um, so I guess you know maybe that's why maybe I give it three point five instead of three because I had no expectations and I really ended up liking the movie more than I thought. Um, you know, not going to say, you know, it's a huge blockbuster, not going to be in my top 10, not going to be better than a lot of other stuff, but I'd probably give it 3.5 because, you know, I had very little expectations and I, and I actually enjoyed the movie enough. So, yeah, 3.5 pools of blood out of 5. So, with that, horrorscorereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all my reviews, written and video. And um, if you're just interested in the video reviews, like, subscribe, do all those things that everybody wants you to do. If not, no worries, it's okay. Uh, but please check out the shorts while you're here. Uh, if not the other reviews, obviously the reviews, but if you just need something real quick, uh, try to keep you guys entertained, give you some fun stuff there and some information um, as well with the shorts, uh, courtesy of Promote Horror. 
and um, Twitter, Facebook information down below. I'm still hanging out there. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you want to talk horror movies, where I found this one, <laughs> whatever. Uh, something you want me to review, feel free to reach out to me there. And obviously down in the comments section, if you did see this movie, if you do know anything about this movie, um, feel free to let me know that somebody else besides me watching this movie, uh, feel free to do that in the comments section. So with that, I will catch you in the next review, horror fans.